How to develop your psychic powers, level 4, Dreams and the Rhythm of Material Nature This presentation is part of a series following on from How to Develop Your Psychic Powers, level 3. Before I continue, I must mention that I am providing tools by which people can build a foundation to build their own psychic reading techniques. In order for readings for clients to be genuine and helpful, you first have to get your own consciousness in tune. To all intents and purposes, tarot cards, for example, are just, well, cards with pictures on them. The results come from how you interpret them. Tarot cards are simply visual tools that can trigger what the all-pervading super-soul in your heart already knows. Pictures are ambiguous, so it's all about how your intuition guides you. Just breathe slowly and deeply and carefully let the super soul speak through you, but always be make sure you help your clients in some way. Anyway, let's move on. Different times of the day have different qualities and feels to them, different modes of nature in fact, goodness, passion and ignorance. An exercise. Sit and think about a day, divided mentally into three parts. Morning, afternoon, and evening. Decide for yourself when one changes into another, but it don't base it on the actual time, but rather when it feels to you when one becomes another. What activities, attitudes and atmospheres are most associated with mornings, afternoons and evenings? Do you find certain activities easier or more fruitful during different times of the day? Psychic forces flow according to the rhythms of the sun, the moon and the stars. Get to know the ways of the moon as consciously as you can, what it does, when and where, its phases, waxing, waning, full and new moons. The moon rises and sets just like the sun does, but unlike the sun, the moon will rise and set around your house at different times. The moon is the pulse the heartbeat of a psychic. It is the smallest interval of time. But the stars have rhythm too. Whilst the sun's rhythm is on a daily basis, the stars have an annual rhythm covering the four seasons. Every season has its own mood. Spring is the time for growth and birth. The bright long summer days then come. Then gradually autumn comes. For the psychic autumn is a time of growth. It is a time for deep reflection and study, a season of incredible atmosphere. The forces of winter are deep and powerful, perfect for introspection. As we fall to sleep, we are in fact crossing over a mysterious threshold into a psychic realm, every bit as real as the everyday physical world. Reality is, of course, relative. Our dream life can be more dramatic and interesting than our waking routine. We must try to bring something from our dreams. I find the best way to remember them is not to move a muscle of your body when you first wake up. Instead, just think through all the dreams you've had that night. Types of dreams Your brain sorting out information. This, of course, is most common. Then there's dreams with particular meaning. For both of these types, you should ask questions such as, what does this dream tell me about my hopes and fears, my career, my love life? Is there anything I need to change or watch out for? And so on. Then there's lucid dreams. Dreams you have when you know you are dreaming. When one has a lucid dream, it is in a very light sleeping state. This is an ideal state for astral projection. That is a subject in itself. I find the best way to lucid dream is to get up very early in the morning, say at 4am, do all meditation, prayers, whatever, and lie down and relax at about 6.30am, setting your alarm for say 7. And bend at least one of your legs. That gives you a half hour slot of light sleeping. 
Lucid dreams have huge potential. Exciting. You are effectively in control. You can ask characters in your dreams questions. And if you know the person in your dream, you can try asking them questions that you are too shy or unable to do so in waking life. Another thing about such dreams is that you can try to make demands. Call out, Lord, Dream Master, tell me the answer to my question. Show me what I should know. Show me the near future, etc. Finally, it is possible to revisit a dream that you feel was incomplete, provided that morning you make the concerted effort to remember that dream. The easiest way to revisit it is to lie down in your bed at night and mentally go through the dream in, in as much detail as possible. Several times. When you fall asleep, it is likely you will go back to it. If not, try again the next day. Sooner or later, you will. The next presentation in this series, How to Develop Your Psychic Powers Level 5, The Spiritual Dimension, will be available shortly.